Hello everyone, this is Canuck the Wolf here, and I am playing a game I find very relaxing. It's called Orwell, and it's based off George Orwell's 1984 book. Well, it has familiar themes and uh, variations of character names from it. Actually, like I said, I enjoy it. I actually find it to be quite calming sometimes, though it can be very stressful. But, uh, this is my first video on my YouTube channel, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because this will probably not be a consistent thing I do. Sorry, I had a plug in my mouse there. I tend to ramble on a lot when I, uh, talk, so I hope you guys forgive me. And the reason I won't be very consistent in many videos is because I am currently taking care of my nephew. He's nine, so he's very much a handful. Alright, let's get, uh, let's get the show on the road. Uh, welcome. We keep an eye on our citizens. Let's create a profile. Congratulations, you have been selected for the overall test phase. Please create a profile. Select a profile picture. Uh, none of these look like me. But uh, I'm gonna... Which one looks the least like me? Now I am a female, so... I could do a female profile. Like I said, none of them really match me. Kinda like that. I was like that one. Yeah, <laughs> old lady. That's alright. Uh oh, I didn't notice her. Sorry. Actually like oh man, I like that better. Uh mixing it with her. Alright, enter our name. I'm not going to put my name on here. Uh, stun, stun, Sonda, Sonda. There we go. Did you know you are one of... That's a huge number. One zero zero four nine four one five four accepted applicants. Wow, you may now enter your email address. And for those who are wondering, when this first when the game first came out, I actually got it because I was very interested in, in the whole premise of it. And if you actually entered your email address here, the game would when it got close to the release of the next episode, they'd actually email you and say, Agent, yeah, it's time for your next to, to continue on with your assignment. Which I thought was really cool. So, that's why it's optional, but it's actually really cool. But of course, the game is now complete, so I don't really have to do that. Be dig di uh, sorry, I can't speak. Be diligent. Diligent. Be diligent. I can't wow words. I don't know how to do it. English is a hard language. Be diligent. Your work has severe in has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I agree to the terms stated above. Let's go. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Ooh. I am logged in, people. Freedom Plaza, April 12th, 2017. So a year ago. That's not creepy at all. 
I love the art design. It's really nice. Oh, she got a police record. shocked when shit happens because I have played this game. I have all the achievements for this game. But like I said, I enjoy it. It's a very fun mystery game. Detective game. Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. You're online. Good. Symes. Sims? Symes. Pretty sure it's Symes. Call me Symes. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out this Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's, let's get started. I have activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access, and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. It's April 13th now. Is that why the clocks were striking 13? I'm kidding. Feel free to browse The National Beholder. I've activated the profile. Open the unknown person file once you're, you're done. Singular. It's a good day to fall in love. The leading newspaper of the nation. Fast, precise, honest. Rosen Technologies. Shaping visions bit by bit. New. First National Bank. Putting the safe in safety. So there's a lot to read here. Oh my god. Oh, Stelgan University. Study with future. www.stelgan... Oh, whatever. And it's, it's going to rotate. Let's start at the bottom. Movie shooting complete. A hundred gray shadows. Thank god that series is over. Hillberry. Shooting of Grey Shadow Saga lasting four years finalized. Third part of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. Wow, if that's not a... Whew. I could read this article, but I don't want to. And I don't think I will. So, you guys can read it. Location... No... It's late. I'm tired. I can't read. Negotiations in Triflith failed. Triflith. Pargesian President boards negotiations with opposition violet, violet riots in Triflith Blaine encourages renewal now from my experience this is more to do about what happens in the second Orwell game so if you guys get interested in playing Orwell I would encourage you to read at least this article because it will have more impact for the next game this is what we're looking for, though. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Bonton. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed. Five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Detonation destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed. Five. Five severely injured. Terrorist ambitions suspected as a mysterious letter reaches authorities. Bonton. Approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police, police forces closed off the area immediately. 
Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with the police confirming that the explosive device was homemade, triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirm that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei, sind frei, or sind frei, I don't. Their thoughts are free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. I'm sorry to anyone who's from Germany if I've butchered that. I should really learn German. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Covering over data chunks will reveal their relevant relevance. Relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Arrest records, Bonton Police Database, Cassandra Watergate. Watergate. Wow. Hold on. I need to take a sip of my delicious hot chocolate. Cassandra Watergate. Arrest date July 10th, 2016. Charge assault on a police officer. Arresting officer Lloyd Duncan. Holding facility Bonton Central PD. Report. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly removed where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. At least she cooperated immediately. Let's get her name first. Get the photo. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become data chunk. a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Ms. Ms. Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We need all, we will need this inf info to go, to progress. <sighs> Speaking sucks. It's really hard. <laughs> oh, related document. Good, with the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Is this woman a terrorist? Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago, remains in custody, trial scheduled for August. Sandra W, simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist? Photo, Bonton Central Police Department. Bonton. Is it Bonton or Bonton? I keep saying. I want to say something like Boston. Bonton. Whatever. Bonton, the case that keeps the media and the public guessing. Cassandra W., pictured above, who had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a ramp page at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the Safety Bill. Protesters at Freedom Plaza turned violent two weeks ago. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused. Cassandra Dubby, who is an artist by profession, has denied the accusations completely as and has asked her fans to show her their support. The trial is now scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, Delacroix 
Secretary of Security labeled the alleged perpetrator, lots of the other, other rioters, as anti-governmental terrorists. So let's get she's an artist. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing up memorials to pieces by any chance. It's good that you think ahead, but let's focus on the current objective first. I've held back a new document for you. I'll grant you access once you're done. Sorry, dude. Alright. Previously arrested for assault. A police officer at Freedom Plaza. The exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's cl clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may disable on a you may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Cassandra's port. Portfolio. Okay. I don't think we need another picture of her. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of water. Oh, oh my god. A colorful inhabitant of Wonderland, right behind the rainbow. Well, that's not real. Okay, so that's clearly Alice in Wonderland right there. Glad you found me. Finally, I found the courage to quit my dull day job. Focus on my career. That's important. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what that job was. Whatever. And put my stuff on portfolio. Below you below you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. See something like, why of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my tell, my you tell account, the Cassie92, and tell me which piece would you like. I'm going to make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now go off, now off you go and have fun. Free? Dang. Let's look at this. Oh, she's a cat. My beloved Torval Kikyo. Definitely the only family I need. Yep, that beauty is me. I was never sure about the title, though. The businessman's forgotten daughter or victim of traditionalism and traditionalism in pink. What do you think? I wonder if that's true. I'm going to put it right there. Because she seems like an honest person. Well, honest about where she comes from, at least. A Christmas present for my darling. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well. I'd have a heart I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. So she got a boyfriend. Alright, let's go to my Utel account, Cassie92. Is it Casey or Cat I keep saying whatever. Like Casey or Cassie? The Cassie. People say Cassie. I can't speak. Good, you found a chat handle that will help allow us to overhear any conversation about on that account. On that account, I need to go to bed. The listener has been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Great. Can I fall asleep now? Nope, she's talking to someone. Hey, you. Hey, Josie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. This is slow. I'm in the middle of 
of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, lucky for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Why? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney, and all around badass have in mind this time? Perhaps just a business call from one of your one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, this is that is exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty busted into all that business. One bottle should be f fine. She's a lightweight. Whoa. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, aka my parents, then. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Ugh. Yeah, maybe. I gotta go now. Text you later. XOXO. Is she dating her attorney? Oh shit, you talked. I'm um, sorry. Uh, it was about, you yeah, know, whatever. You saw it. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relevant profiles. Sorry. Well, that does not matter anymore. Big Farmer, daughter of pharmaceutical entrepreneurs. Watergate, pharma entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. Procedure closing raises ma manipulation suspicions. Orwell informs me you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the dat data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. Uh, I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Shit. No, start from the top. Invic Investigation into malicious injury of a police officer has been dropped due to a lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. Triumphant. The suspect's lawyer, cr criminal attorney Joseph Langley. Bonton. The case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. Has, was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the tr trial took place. The case being closed to due, due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above. Welcome this outcome. At no point has there been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. At no point at all. The revered defense attorney commit commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing that the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed into the hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he's still in an induced coma, unresponsive to treatment. Ah, oh, shit, that's not good. But, this, that's speculation. This, well, is more factual. This is not like being like, oh, the family, they had to do something with it. But if there was a lack of evidence, like, if CCTV videos that had this incident recorded showed she didn't do it, then she didn't do it. So, lack of evidence. This is what I figured. A pity the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. 
Watergate Pharmaceuticals Products Water Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry leading range of products making an important contribution to your well-being. Below you will find a small section of our most popular products. Fuck, I'm not reading that. <laughs> um, cough drops that fight against irritation of throat based on national herbs. Activating pills against migraines. Strong headaches. Medication that increases concentration. Cerebral performance. Medication on the elevation of arthritic joint pain. Oh, alleviation of arthritic joint pain. Antidepressant to help stabilize your emotions. All around pain code that dissolves in water. Soothing pills for a good night's rest against occasional sleeping problems and for acute application when suffering from insomnia. Company. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression from let's try that again. The Watergate the name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than eighty years. Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine and at the same time its largest medication exported to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals Incorporated has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Bruno Watergate, Chief Executive Officer. The CEO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals Incorporated is Bruno Watergate, grandson of our founder, Edgar Edgar Watergate. Prior from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of Central Pharmacy Congress and head of the charity foundation, Children of Purges. Dr. Alice Watergate, head of research, uh, I didn't read his. Dr. Alice Watergate, co-partner of the firm with her husband, Bruno, holds a PhD in biology and chemistry. She leads the research and development laboratories here at Watergate Pharmaceuticals. And hello, Cassandra. Well, the portrait isn't, that's, I can only assume this is a little more recent, so sable that. She was a junior COO. Damn, girl. Appointed to CEO of a, of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a G, junior CEO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had, qu- she had quitted Dolce Dog, didn't she? Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra, will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter of our 85 year strong legacy. Ah, now I see. Keeping it, it a family fair. Well, she said former. She had quit her job. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Mail just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's anything, is there any new information available. Let's look at this. Jobs. Our pharmaceutical schools is work looking currently we're looking for suitable candidates for the following positions. Please address all applications to Josephine Marcardit, head of HR at jobs at, at jobs at Watergate Pharma TNA. Oh someone's getting replaced. We are urgently looking for a chief operating officer to replace the retired formerly appointed pr- predecessor. Well, shit. Not always in the family. Maybe I was one. Nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant by quitting her job. Good. Currently, I'm thinking Armis Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? That's not important, I guess. Headlines. Crime rate continues to drop. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop here for now, guys. And uh, continue this on tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get back to it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys, like I said, hopefully tomorrow. Okay. Peace out.